1964, the Hawaiian writer John Dominus Holt wrote the essay On Being Hawaiian. This essay is seen as a catalyst for the nascent Hawaiian movements, the Renaissance, and sovereignty of later decades. In it, Holt, a descendant of both Hawaiian and European royalty, asked whether Hawaiian was a matter of blood or sentiment. Holt wrote, I am in depth a product of Hawaii, an American, yes, who is a citizen of the 50th state, but I am also a Hawaiian, somewhat by blood and in large measure by sentiment. Of this I am proud. As the Poetry Foundation described him, John Dominus Holt is recognized as one of the leading voices of the mid-century Hawaiian Renaissance. Descended from Hawaiian royalty and European ancestors, Holt navigated the competing claims of pedigree and genealogy in post-colonial Hawaii. I posit here three ways of defining Hawaiian. One, genealogy. The debate on this is basically settled. To be Hawaiian is to have a Hawaiian family and to be able to trace their lineage back to what Keolani Cook has called the time of Uivi Vale, when there were only Kanaka Uivi. Two, Hawaiian citizenship. In the more modern context of the Hawaiian kingdom, the term Hawaiian connoted Hawaiian subjects who could be and were multiracial. Willie Kawai informs us in his dissertation, The Color of Nationality, that between 1840 and 1887, there were 3,200 people from numerous other places who became naturalized Hawaiian subjects. As Willie quotes in his dissertation, until 1887, race was not used as a basis to determine citizenship in the Hawaiian kingdom. During the Hawaiian constitutional era, people of all origins were extended rights, privileges, and protections. Acquiring Hawaiian citizenship was based on allegiance, not skin color. This tradition of, of political inclusion was disrupted by the 1887 Bayonet Constitution, which for the first time introduced racially exclusive policies aligned with American racial standards of citizenship. The term Hawaiian became codified under the Bayonet Constitution as a racial or ethnic marker rather than an indicator of nationality or citizenship. Hawaiian nationality was further complicated in 1898 by the United States illegal occupation. Three, a set of values. This is of course much more nebulous and subject to being stretched and even abused but it does seem that values such as aloha, lokahi, lokumaika'i, and others, George Kanaheli established a set of 25, are foundational to being Hawaiian or Kanaka Maori. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Hawaiian history content, just hit the like button. Mahalo for 